Hi, I'm Joey Taylor, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about my new book for Douglas and McIntyre called Six String Nation, 64 Pieces, Six Strings, One Canada, One Guitar. In part, it's the story of an 11-year journey to create something unique in the world, and in part, it's a portrait of Canada. I mean that in a couple of different ways, as you'll see in the next few minutes. In this collection of materials, there are some very famous items and some not-so-famous items. Some are connected to athletes and authors and politicians, and others are part of the lifeblood of communities across Canada. The point is that each of these pieces tells a story, and each of them is part of Voyageur, the six-string nation guitar. In fact, there are 63 pieces of history and heritage that make up the guitar itself, and another on the guitar strap. There are another four sewn into the guitar case that have been added in the last few years. You know, for a long time, we've relied on a handful of icons to represent Canada in the world's imagination and our own. The beaver, the loon, hockey, donuts, maple syrup, Lake Louise, the CN Tower, and Peggy's Cove. These are all fine, but in 1995, when the citizens of Quebec were faced with a referendum question that could potentially redraw the map of Canada, along with our own sense of what it meant to be Canadian, it seemed to me that those symbols were tired, insubstantial, and certainly didn't reflect the breadth and diversity of the country, especially in comparison to the bold cultural confidence that seemed to come so much more naturally to Quebecers on both sides of the question. I thought the whole country could stand to have a bit more of that mojo. Around that time, I met an Ontario luthier named George Rosani. George had a strong belief that you didn't need Brazilian rosewood or African ebony or Honduran mahogany or Japanese maple to make world-class guitars. In fact, he was proposing to build a guitar just using wood from his property. That small act of patriotism inspired me to ask George if he thought he could build a guitar using pieces of material from every part of Canada. He agreed to give it a try, and I set out to find the materials. As I spoke to friends and colleagues and artists in different parts of the country about what materials would be appropriate, it became clear to me that every piece should tell a story, that this instrument would be able to speak not only the language of music, but also the language of history and heritage, that this should be a guitar that would ultimately feel right at home wherever it happened to be in Canada. And so the pieces began to come in. Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau's canoe paddle, door molding from a de Havilland beaver bush plane, Olympian Nancy Green ski, the cabin of Alberta's pioneering black rancher John Ware, gold from Maurice Richard's 1955-56 Stanley Cup ring, copper from the roof of the Library of Parliament, decking from the Blue Nose II, whale baleen from Nunavut, a drapery pin from the Teatro Capitol in Quebec City, and many more. Perhaps most extraordinarily of all, in February of 2006, after many months of dialogue with the Haida community in BC, we were permitted to take the only piece ever taken from the legendary, sacred, murdered tree known as the Golden Spruce. Not only is it very much the spiritual heart of the project, as the better part of the top of the guitar, it's also very much the face and the voice that Voyageur shows the world. It took almost 11 years to get to the point where we had the materials we needed, but it took Rosani just six weeks to build the guitar, with Sarah Nasser doing the inlay work on the fretboard. The guitar made its public debut on Parliament Hill in Ottawa on Canada, Canada Day 2006, at the invitation of the National Capital Commission. About 80,000 people watched as Stephen Fearing, Aslan Debison, Amy Milan, Colin James, Mighty Popo, Michelle Pagliaro, and others brought it to life. Since then, I've been taking this guitar to festivals and schools, concerts, conferences, and all kinds of events across the country. The goal is to quite literally put Canadians in touch with their own heritage the stories they know and the stories they don't yet know, to connect with the history contained in history books and the history that lives in their own communities, and to hear that living culture reflected back in every kind of music and in every language that informs who we are today. At many of these events, we take free portraits of people holding the guitar. To date, we've done tens of thousands of portraits of nearly 7,000 different people having their moment with history in their hands. These portraits by Doug Nicholson are the heart and soul of the book. 
and capture the true face of Canada. I hope you'll find them as captivating as I do, even after looking at them over and over and over again. I hope you'll enjoy the story of the Six String Nation, and I hope you'll see it as a perfect gift for Canadians living abroad as a reminder of home, or for anyone you think could stand to know a bit more about Canada than beavers, donuts, and hockey players. And if you see Six String Nation is coming to a festival or another event in your part of the country, come and get your portrait taken. Become part of the guitar's story and declare your own citizenship in the Six String Nation. <laughs>